I was hoping it was going to be our teeny tiny tot little elephant, but that, uh, we. <laughs> but um, there goes Jamie. But it does not appear to be the case at all. I think it's a different family of elephants from the group that we saw this morning. But we'll have a little look anyway. Well, maybe it is our teeny tiny little friend. But it is quite a youngster as well. This one just looks like it's a bit more coordinated on its feet. The one we were watching this morning, like I said, it looked like it had shoes on that were too big for it, the way it was frumbling about. And there it goes, swinging its trunk. Whether it's doing that on purpose or just involuntary control at that age, you never really know. <laughs> Sometimes momentum takes over. Oh, this should be interesting. They have to cross this little lugger. Now, of course, it's going to be an easy task for the adults, but for the little one, it might be quite funny. There you go. See, it's not a big lugger. It's just a little drop. Hello, girl. Who are you smelling? Do you want to cross where the zebra are? You can't because it's a zebra crossing, not an elephant crossing. I don't know. She's actually just going to stop and feed. The little one's not quite ready to go down just yet. <laughs> there you go. Come on, little one. Just gently. Not able to do that in one step like mom. Oh, that. Sometimes you've got to use your head to help you stand up. I know that feeling. Get away, fly. That's very sweet. Now, Ritchie, you're wondering if I've met the new McCurdy Hurdy. There are too many McCurdy Hurdies out here to, to try and keep track. Perhaps we'll have to go back and find that herd of uh, zebra, the one that had that interesting pattern on its back. Maybe we'll, we can call that the McCurdy Hurdy. But if I find a herd that I can try and pick out some individuals and hang around, we will definitely try and dub a new group. This is fantastic. And you know what I'm really excited about is these elephants are now crossing the road and they're going to go towards a herd of zebra. And there's a couple of little foals too. There we go. So let's see. Something that I have seen before, and I, we were actually talking about it the other day, is how little elephants and little rhinos and other little animals like to chase each other around. Shame that little one keeps falling to its knees, going up and down the little hills. And there's a tiny little foal that you'll see just to the left of mom. It's going to pop into this frame now. Are you going to come and play? No, the zebra looks like it's taking a wide berth. Now there's the little one. Off it goes. Actually, you've, um, no, I don't know what you've just said. Alice, please, can you say that again? I was too busy listening to the sound of my own voice. And I forgot the question. <laughs> the comment, rather. Off they go. Alice, are you still there? <laughs> Can I have... Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Ashley. I missed what you said there, but um, there was something about the elephants. Oh, yes, you said they're so uncoordinated and wrinkly. There we go. That's exactly... That's a perfect way to describe a young elephant calf. But we'll keep moving on. We might pop past the sausage tree prior to have a look and see what they're up to. And... Tristan has been walking about searching for leopards. He's back in the car. Let's go across to him.